Team special series all week long. We're highlighting issues that impact renters. Rent increases are affecting tenants all across the state right now, and we want to show you what resources are available to help out. Now, in some cities and towns, renters can turn to their local fair rent commissions. Chief investigative reporter Sam Smink shares more on what renters need to know. That's why I like this place because it's a lot of space. Don't For the last three and a half years, Melva Plummer has lived in this Hamden apartment. She's dealt with rent increases before, just not like the one presented to her in September. From $2,000 to $2,700 for rent. That means Plummer's rent would be increasing by 35%. We know we got to pay more, but my God, so much more. She filed a complaint with the Hamden Fair Rent Commission. The commission decided instead of paying $2,700, Hammer will now pay $2,250. The Fair Rent Commission is here to help weed people. In 2022, the Connecticut legislature said every city and town with a population greater than 25,000 must create a fair rent commission ordinance by mid-2023. 25 Connecticut towns and cities already have commissions. Around 27 others meeting the criteria currently do not. So as soon as a tenant receives a proposed rental increase, they should contact us immediately. Wilda Lees Bermudez is executive director of the New Haven Fair Rent Commission. She says they were created to help control and eliminate excessive rental charges and act as middlemen between landlords and tenants. For instance, if the landlord is claiming that uh, certain bills have gone up, certain expenses, we request that information. The commission investigates tenants' complaints submitted either in person or online and can negotiate rent on behalf of tenants. We look at things like how many uh, units, how many actual bedrooms are within that particular unit. Are there any problems with unsafe and unhealthy housing? How often has the rent been increased? While New Haven's commission investigates, the tenant's rent stays the same until a decision is reached. The decision is legally binding for one year. Bermudas can recall many instances where the commission reduced or denied a rent increase. In New Haven, their cases have tripled in the past year. It's the same in Hartford. In 2021, the Fair Rent Commission there received 22 complaints. In 2023, it's more than quadrupled to 104 complaints. In Hampton, the commission met in September after a four-year hiatus. They've received 49 complaints so far. At least four of their decisions are being appealed by the landlord. If your city or town doesn't have a commission, experts suggest doing your own research. Price out comparable apartments in your town and bring that information to your landlord to negotiate. As for Plummer's rent, a lawyer representing her landlord says Plummer had originally agreed to an increase of $2,500, but the Fair Rent Commission went lower. They are appealing the commission's decision. Plummer doesn't regret asking for help. So I hope other people like me know about them so they don't have to run. If you have any questions on what to do if you get a rent increase or what financial options are out there for you, we are hosting a Facebook Live after the broadcast. It will start at 6.30. An expert will be standing by to take questions. For the I-Team, I'm Sam Smink, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Sam, thank you very much. And if you have a consumer problem or story idea for Sam to investigate, you can email the I-Team at iteam3 at wfsb.com.